Tryna put him in the worst mood P1 cleaner than the church shoes Millie point two just to hurt them Hey guys, welcome back to my channel y'all. If you are a new subscriber, hi my name is Gold and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back home baby, welcome back home. So in today's video, we are doing a Sunday, what, what should I call this? I think I should give this a name. Sundays with Gold? Makeup Sundays with Gold? I don't know, we'll see what we call it, but this is a chit chat get ready with me on how I just got this blue, 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 what is it? Blue Sunday vibe, you know. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday thus far. And if you do create this look, you know, please like tag me. I want to see how you guys create this blue eye look type of vibe. If maybe you are inspired and you want to do um, this makeup look, please tag me. And if you actually want to see how I got this look please keep on watching I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up sis and in this video we will be chatting 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 away about living away from home managing expenses budgeting and just yeah everything else and yeah let's just get right into it I feel like if you guys are too close anyways so I did my eyebrows off camera and I laid my wig. I'm actually really impressed um, about this, the way the wig looks. Um, I think it looks better in person. But anyways, oh, I had a little booger in my nose. I hope it didn't show on camera. Anyway, so my uh, for my eyebrows, I recently purchased this um, Color Stay Eyeliner. This is the best, honey, honestly. If if you are looking for like an eyebrow, this is really quick. It even makes my eyebrow process really fast. So this is what I used on um, my eyebrows. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I haven't done a chit chat get ready with me in years. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this because um, no lie, I really, I try to film this video uh today when did i try and film it i'm lying i try to film it i'm using my primer i'm prepping my face i don't want to make this too much of a makeup tutorial but if i do if i kind of mention i'm gonna actually mention the revlon stuff that i recently purchased because revlon ha revlon has just become a fave of mine i'm gonna be sipping on my coffee Oh, because it is quite early and oh, I'm just like I'm just trying I'm like this year I actually when did I start I actually tried to actually start waking up early because I have, I have to manage work and and school so I'm just trying to trying to manage that so waking up early preparing for my full content on days that I don't have claws Sometimes my week is hectic, so I try to preform almost every single thing. So, but today is not that busy, so I just want to film. I recently posted a video. I posted it yesterday. Guys, is there anyone that knows what I can use to actually remove the the glue that actually comes down from the got to be glue that drips down? Because ugh, it's the most annoying thing. So I got this. Revlon foundation this is a fave this is a fave this is a fave somebody asked me to kind of like do a review or a YouTube video on the foundation so here it is I haven't done a makeup video in forever forever so I posted I've also been trying to like be consistent on on Instagram with creating reels and all of that like I'm just trying to push my content do you understand what I'm saying like if you are a content creator and you feel like oh my gosh like like what do I need to do to achieve or to, to keep pushing just create honestly create even if you don't have an audience create um, even if you do have an audience I mean obviously if you have an, audi an audience you will be motivated to create but when you don't have an, an audience like a very big audience 
it's kind of difficult for you to always stay motivated to create but honestly girl like just create honestly like just create so that one day when you do get an audience and you will the more consistent you stay look at me talking about consistency and i'm just like <laughs> uh, um some of you guys might probably just be like girl but you've been gone for some time uh, i know consistency is so hard it's so hard and i'm sure even for those that actually have an audience like a really big audience consistency is quite difficult like because you have a life outside of like social media um outside of like you have a lot of things to do and some days you just also don't feel like posting you don't feel like shooting so i really get it but i know that when you're still growing your youtube or your instagram it's quite difficult to stay consistent but just post 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 and post you will get an audience someday that's what I've just been doing so and I also saw this on someone's dates yeah Instagram story you know the whole thing of just create just create whether you have an audience or not just create and just know your end goal period I love this foundation I love it um, is it for dry skin yeah it's for normal too dry skin well that's the one that I took I don't know if they've got other ones but it doesn't really at least like because i've got dry skin so it literally leaves my skin feeling hydrated because i've been wearing this foundation for a while now so this is not my first impression on it but first impression i was so shocked i loved it so much i was like i think revlon is taking the cup with foundations and guys the other day in class we were talking about um which makeup brand kind of caters for a melanin skin and i just went with revlon like revlon and achieving like literally catering for us dark beauties they never disappoint like never they have a lot of shades and obviously we were talking about local i mean someone in my class also mentioned fancy beauty i've never tried it <laughs> uh maybe one day i will when i've got the money so yeah i've never tried it but i was just like revlon takes it honestly like revlon really does take it so yeah like yeah so i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram but do i look yellow yesterday my boyfriend said i look yellow i looked yellow does this, or maybe because i took the shade caramel mm. Anyways, even if I do look yellow, I will kind of like blend it out. I will kind of make it look. What was I saying? <laughs> I literally forgot what was I saying. Anyways, I actually wanted to talk about. Um, I asked people on Instagram on my Instagram to actually ask me ask me questions. But you know, people don't really like. I don't know. Maybe it's my audience, or it's because I'm also kind of growing. So they don't really ask me questions, they just look at the story and they just skip. Of which I don't blame them because, but I do, like why, why don't you interact? <laughs> because I also recently try to interact because I mean, I'm also a YouTuber and I also want people to ask me questions. So when small YouTubers like the ones that I follow or anyone that I follow who asks questions, like, like says we must ask them questions, I always do because I kind of feel like like that's your bag you know what i mean like like engaging really helps like i just feel like when you i don't know uh, maybe it's because my audience is still quite small so they don't really ask me questions i don't know but if you're watching this and you follow me on instagram like can you please like sometimes engage with me um and if you're a small youtuber and I, like you know because I, I literally just want to also be there for small youtubers because i'm also a small youtuber myself i love this foundation revlon killed it i'm also a small youtuber myself so i know how it feels when people just when you ask people to like kind of support your work and watch your videos and then they don't i know girl i know how you feel i really know how you feel oh i'm not even sipping Anyways, yeah, I asked people to 
ask me questions on Instagram. So we'll check that out once like I'm out of things to talk about because I did kind of like plan the things I wanted to talk about in this video because obviously like I don't <laughs> like a lot of people don't really ask me questions. Guys, I've literally been about my bag since this month. Well, not the beginning of this month, but I think just the beginning of this week. I've just been so motivated to be about my bag and just about my hassle because literally, I am only like, I only got me, I guess, you know. You know, there's family members that will say, yeah, I got you, I got you. And your partner might even say like, I got you. But like, realistically speaking, you only got you and I only got me. So... I literally create my con like I've just been about my bag so I actually wanted to Bali the forex trader I think yeah she posted on her story yesterday and I literally reposted this um, so please follow me so you can also be like have those motivational days with me um, I'm trying to read exactly what she posted So she posted don't expect anything from a man make plan b's study work hustle be able to stand on your own financial independency is crucial yeah financial independency is crucial your hard work can never be taken away from you it is yours you work you worked for it so i literally was able to re relate to that and i was just like I am inspired. I'm take, I'm using the Revlon Canid just to brighten up my under eyes because I'm gonna be doing quite a dark um I run 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 eyeshadow. So I literally was so motivated after I saw that post. I was like, oh girl, you are speaking to me. Literally, she was speaking to me. So I'm gonna do a blue inspired um, makeup look. But I just wanna kind of blend my whole face, all of this, and then I'll come back and just start the chit chat, all the topics that I had ready. Basically, the questions that I had ready uh, was just regards to living away from home. How has it been? As you guys may know, um, if you've been watching my videos, I recently kind of moved away from home and basically the initial plan is just for it to happen just for this year so um i'm, I'm gonna be using this palette it was a gift from my cousins for my 21st last time My boyfriend has taught me how to make the best coffee in the world. Anyways, so if you've been watching my videos, you know you've just been keeping up with me. You will know that I have been, I moved out from home. And the initial plan is that I'm just supposed to be staying here for this year. And then I move back home and then probably, hopefully come back again. Um, next year but let me tell you guys something my dad is paying for my rent young man uh, obviously because I don't work yet and so you know he's the one that's just paying for this place and just kind of sorry if I'm not looking I'm trying to get the eyeshadows right and just kind of like yeah he's paying for my place so for as long as he'll he's gonna be paying it's kind of his rules why excuse me it's kind of gonna be like his rules and type of thing so basically i'm just trying to hustle because i'm here like my the whole reason for my move away from home was because of school like i school quite far from home basically in the beginning of the year like you know when school started and stuff I was able like I kind of saw that 
traveling to school and home every day is a drag it's a waste of fuel sometimes um, I'm not even attending classes I'm just meeting up with my group or whatever the case may be so it, I just feel like it just becomes too too much and <laughs> I'm human I get tired too you know and I sometimes I have to wake up early and then I must get back home late and I that time I was still like staying with my dad so I'd have to come back and cook I just felt like it was a bit too much you know so then I just kind of brought it up to my dad that maybe I should just move you know move closer to school and not that um, it's like the first time but it's the first time not like it's a first time thing where I'm like leaving home because every time like school started I literally leave home but it's a first time like I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying but it's a first time thing of me living in my own apartment yeah I think I should say it like that apartment so I initiated to my dad like maybe I should move and I knew that I just didn't want a student accommodation so if you know or you've been watching my videos you will know that uh before covid um i actually went i feel like this is just messing up before covid i i used to stay in a different accommodation in auckland park i'm just gonna mention it because i mean i don't stay there anymore it's the campus it's called the campus so it's in auckland park and I stayed there and it wasn't far from school it was still a drive but I could like I had a car so I could manage to actually like kind of get to school on time but then from home it's in fact too far so that's when I was just like to my dad uh -uh. so he kind of he was just like you know what okay just let me know on the place that you're looking for because he asked if I wanted to go back to the campus and I said no so he's just like okay then I must just look for a place so I did that, went on property 24, I don't like the pigment of this thing, but we're gonna make good work. I went on property 24 and I literally looked and looked for accommodation close to me, of which I did find, luckily, and I loved it. I went for viewing, I went, I took myself for viewing and I just loved it, you know, I really, really loved this place and I was sold, you know. So I obviously told my dad and yeah, the paperwork did quite take long. I got declined a couple of times. Um, yeah, I got declined a lot of times until my sister actually, I ended up using my sister as like the person that's staying here. And that's when I got approved, which was so exciting. So yeah, then I left and obviously before I left, my dad was just like, uh, I'm probably I'm just gonna go there for the year uh, he, we signed the contract the lease is just like is it six months I think or how many however months is just left of this year so I was like okay but I said to myself um, I feel like I want to do this thing I want to live away from home um, this pigment honey this is not what I want but if it doesn't do what I want it to do then we're just gonna go with it but I told myself that I want to do this living alone thing. I want it so bad. So, and I and I know my dad, like maybe if I bring it up to my dad, he will approve, but I just want to do it in a way that I know that I'm the one that's paying for this place, you know? I don't want to <laughs> kind of sit around and just kind of always depend on my dad. Because truthfully, truth, truthfully speaking, my dad won't be around forever. So a woman just gotta do her things on her own so I think that's also what's just motivating me to kind of girl push girl hustle girl hustle hard because by the end of this year I want to be able to I'm hoping that I'll be able to sort of say that this is my place and I'm paying for the rent like a boss so I think that's just my motivation right now. That's why I'm just like kind of pushing everything that I do with it is school. But I won't lie, I'm kind of more invested in content creation than school. But, uh, which, I actually 
actually been thinking of dropping out i won't lie but let's just leave that let's just leave that let's kind of just leave that topic just pretend as if you didn't hear that but just know that's just what i've been thinking about so basically at the end of this year i'm trying to be the one that's taking full ownership of this place maybe not on paper because um my, i don't even have a credit score a good credit score yet so hopefully by the end of the year uh even if it's not on paper that it's mine but i will i want to be the one that's kind of paying the rent and no pressure honestly if it doesn't happen this year uh i just know that this is something i'm working towards and i'm gonna try by all means possible to make it happen because i think this is something that i really want because living alone i won't lie is difficult not difficult like oh hard like oh my gosh i can't it's challenging it's more challenging than difficult um, i think this is perfect it's kind of more challenging than difficult because there's a lot of things that you kind of need to think about you know um with groceries and all of that living alone is is nice when i say it's nice i mean people might think oh the whole freedom thing yeah you've got all the freedom in the world no lie you kind of have the freedom in the world but there's a trick to having that freedom money do you have the money for the freedom that you kind of want you know uh because when you you know to kind of be honest freedom means money and when i say freedom means money i mean i get it you want to go out i get it you want to and going out just needs money so freedom just needs money so yeah you have all the freedom in the world and even if you do have all the freedom in the world and you've got the money for the freedom you kind of need to also keep money aside for your space you need food in the fridge you need food in the pantry you need you need stuff in your space you know it's not like at home where mom and dad is just gonna buy all the groceries oh there's no there's no bread oh mom is gonna buy it Oh, there's no there's no what whatever whatever you eat or drink mom's gonna buy it it's not like that anymore you know living alone is just all about you need to buy it you need to take notice you're the one that's eating the bread so when, once it's finished go buy it you know that's literally how living alone is and the first week i got here i won't lie i felt like oh my gosh can i do this like can i literally live alone or did i rush this i should have just asked myself a question should i can must i just move back to auckland park um because i feel like it's a lot and you know what was making it a lot the fact that i had to buy everything for myself literally if there's no i because i bought a table so if there's no i needed a screwdriver i didn't have a screwdriver i must go buy it i just bought a table and i must buy a screwdriver they weren't like you buy every single thing that you kind of need because if you don't buy it where are you gonna get it unless you're gonna drive back home and fetch it but at the end of the day you kind of need to buy it you know so the first week i just felt so overwhelmed i was like do i really want to do this maybe i must just go home because i now had to buy groceries and you know i had a budget literally i had a budget i was like i'm gonna spend 1.2 on groceries because i stay alone like i used to spend 1.2 grocery on groceries um where i used to live and it made sense but then i realized the difference with here and the student accommodation is that the student accommodation kinds of kind of has everything and when i say everything it's got like the space is not too big and not that my space is too big but like there's so many things that i had to buy you know okay first of all at my student accommodation they used to clean your room like for you so i wouldn't see the need for me to buy like every single cleaning thing but when i got here you know i'm trying to stay in a clean environment so i'm trying to keep my place clean now i must buy things from okay i took a mop from home but now i must buy things from like but it's dishwasher every single thing every single tiny thing and then on top of that i must still buy food i must just buy it. and when i buy food i'm buying everything so it was kind of challenging because i realized that it's it's a lot of money and let me tell you guys something oh, you're gonna love so i'm so used to oh 
student, student, you know if you're a student, now let me tell you something. If you're a student, maybe in your second or third year, and you've been staying in a, in a res or you've been staying in a student accommodation, if you can afford it, like kind of leave that space, take yourself out of that comfortable space and put yourself in something uncomfortable like I am right now. Um, not that I'm, I'm, I'm not comfortable anymore, like n not that I'm still uncomfortable, but there are times where I just do get uncomfortable. But I, would pr I can probably say right now that I'm comfortable in my space. I love my space right now. But let me tell you something guys, electricity at the student accommodation I used to I never used to worry about electricity unless it's low shedding TBH, you know? Until I got here. And then I realized, wait, sis has to buy electricity. Like I need to buy electricity. Like I need to buy electricity. Like not that I was shocked, but I was like, damn. And I won't say I wasn't ready, but you can never just be ready to leave home. You can never be ready to it's like anything, you can never be ready to have a child. You can never be ready to leave home. So that's just how I felt. Like I knew that, okay, this is, this is one of those places where I have to buy my own electricity. And I knew it, like I knew it. When I left home, I knew that, okay, I have to buy electricity. And with, with, with the money that I get, I need to make sure that I keep money aside for groceries, for electricity, and for emergency when i say emergency it's, it's things like what the food finished quickly or whatever bread finished electricity finished mid-month you know things like that because now i can't only like you can't only rely you can't say okay this is my budget for the month two thousand grand it's gonna cover me electricity food and yeah that's fine it's gonna cover me electricity and groceries and then the rest of your money you take it to entertainment and spending. Girl, you will regret yourself. You will hurt out yourself if you do that because a day will come mid-month when you probably hosted or you had people over and you were cooking, you were using all the appliances, you were switching on the heater. It was, yay, you were literally escom chowing all the electricity in your house and then you don't have money. Then the lights just go and then you don't have money. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So it's very important that you keep literally like know, know when to spend and know if it's like, kind of know if it's necessary. Like, no, it's not like at home where you can be like, okay, oh, let's see, mm, ice cream, let me just go buy it. Sis, girl, look at your pocket before you just leave the house, hey? Like, literally look at your pocket. Besides all of that, living alone is great. I speak to my, my family, like here and there. It's nice, you have your own space, your own time to think and literally find what it is that you want with this life thing. Well, for me, it's I've got more time to literally, not more time, but I've got, because I'm always alone, I literally just wanna make it. I know that I wanna make it and the life that I wanna live. So I've got more time to kind of plan. Besides school, that's just what I'm doing. I don't have a lot of friends. I'm not always out. So yeah, that's the thing. If you have a lot of friends, your money's gonna finish because you're gonna always wanna go out and stuff like that. So yeah. So basically the reason that I left home was because of school and it was for this year. Manifesting, manifesting, manifesting that hopefully by the end of this year, probably beginning of next year i can be able to play pay for this pay place for myself with my own money not allowance no I'm not talking about an allowance but my own money you feel me so that's what i'm manifesting and that's what i am praying for literally that's my prayer okay and what have i what have i been enjoying about living here guys or living in this place or having your own space Guys, I just enjoy the fact that I've got time to think, to think and just be the person that I am and just, this is going to be a bit too dark, but anyways, so just uh, some time to think, have people over, you know, um, oh, I've lit literally, oh my god, it's too dark, oh, but anyways, I've been enjoying cooking. So I've been cooking even when I was at home, but I think 
Oh my gosh, this concealer. I'm gonna blend my whole life away. Look at that. Like, what's this supposed to be, honey? I feel like it's even darker on camera. Oh. Anyways, so I've just, I, th I think I've been enjoying cooking. Like, I'm not a person that cooks, like, not because I'm lazy, but I just didn't like cooking because I felt like I couldn't do it. Yo, oh, guys, this contour is irritating me. Yo, who contours their face like this? Definitely me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying not to just overreact right now, but trust me, I'm reacting so much inside. It's so dark on camera. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We have to sort this out. I'm gonna blend away. But let me just tell you guys what I've been enjoying. So, I won't say I'm not a person that cooks, nah, because at home I like that, oh my gosh, each time I look at the camera, I just feel like crying. So at home, I was that person that just does, that cooks, because I had to cook for my dad, but he, I think he would even see that I'm not enjoying it, because I wouldn't put in so much effort, and that was because I wasn't, like, I just felt like, you know, when, when someone forces me to cook, I don't make the best meal, like, don't come here and tell me to cook if I didn't initiate it, you know? Because I'm obviously not gonna, let's try this side, honey. Because I'm obviously not gonna, it's gonna be dark. I can see it. I'm obviously not gonna put in the best work if I, if you're gonna force me to cook, you know. And I think I'm not the only one that's like that. But now that I'm here, I know that I have to cook for myself. Not that I have to, but it's better because if I don't cook, I'm gonna have to buy takeaways. And who has money for takeaways, child? Not me. So. <laughs> Uh, I basically have to cook for myself guys it's even better on this side I basically have to cook for myself and I literally buy my own groceries so I just enjoy everything that I make it's something that I want like before I buy groceries I literally kind of meal prep my life um, not to the T like Monday you can eat this Tuesday but just kind of meal prep like oh this month I feel like having spaghetti and I you know or chicken some bolognese or some chicken or king or some pasta you know something like that so i kind of basically plan like this month i felt like pig leg and i bought myself pig leg i just haven't made it but that's what i feel like oh, maybe I, but anyways today i felt like liver so i took out chicken like liver because i'm able to plan for my meals and it just feels so much better like because i'm cooking everything not that i don't cook the things at home with love but when I'm here, it's with so much love, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I just enjoy cooking right now. And literally, if you come to my place, yo, I will feed your face. And also, what I just recently noticed about myself is I love cleaning. Like, I will clean, even my boyfriend will say, you will clean even in the AMs. I will clean if I see the place is dirty, like right now before I started filming. I saw Hore, my area is kind of dirty. Literally, after filming with my makeup on, sis, I will take the broom, I will take the mop, and I will clean. I will clean no matter the time, no matter, no matter whoever is here, if you are here, you visiting, I will clean. Like, I can't work in an untidy place. I can't function. I can't do anything. It just kills me. I can't. I don't like it. So I will clean, and I think... That kind of used to annoy my partner, but and I don't, I don't want to say I don't want people to think I live with him full time. Please don't come here and be like, oh, you stay with your partner full time. No, I don't. I don't stay with him full time, but he visits. So I, I will clean yo. I will clean my place. I will make sure that my place is clean. I'm literally trying to fix this contour. So guys, whatever I do right now, please just. <laughs> Don't take it too seriously. I'm trying to fix a con um, um, contour gone wrong because I've never had a contour gone wrong. Have you? I just feel like I put a lot of contour. I know I put a lot of contour. I don't feel it. I know. <laughs> like, why did I put so much contour? Who do I think I am? After here, I need to go to the mall and get myself some 
and get my contraceptives because they're running out and oh, I literally kind of like did the worst like why doesn't this game tell you like this game just doesn't communicate honestly I don't like doing this step I don't like the white cross that it leaves me with but I really don't have a choice right now I'm not baking um, I'm just trying to get rid of this contour honey see I don't like that word cost I don't know if you guys watched my life updates but if you watch my life updates I spoke about how I felt very uncomfortable being alone and how I just didn't like being alone um, I always wanted someone around me I think being a being moving away from home has kind of helped me get myself out of that situation does the contour look better now guys I don't know you comment and tell me but I think living alone has kind of like I'm not better like I think I am better than the way I was in the beginning of the year in terms of the whole thing of just being alone you know because I kind of hated being alone it was terrible for me I felt like I didn't have people I felt like I didn't like it was terrible I just didn't like living alone like being gilly one you know I'm kind of doing the most to my face right now but this is how we learn hey honestly this is how we learn i think it's better what do you guys think if you have a problem whoo, go shove it up my <laughs> yeah so i just think living <clears throat> alone has kind of helped me with that whole part of um being uncomfortable alone because i was i won't lie i was very uncomfortable like being alone i just wasn't used to myself i just think it goes with not knowing yourself so well so i just think i was just like i i just didn't like my i just didn't know what to do with myself alone you know that's weird though but that was what i was going through at that time but now oh i will literally I, I don't even force it anymore like whatever I feel like doing I'll do it if I want to take a nap I'll take a nap if I want to work I'll work if I want to watch TV I'll work. like it's nice it's just nice no one is watching you it's just nice you know but obviously you need to behave not behave like yo behave like behave serious but just kind of take care of yourself when you're alone take care of yourself take care of your the things around you like in my case I obviously sent my car you know, I kind of need to take care of my car. Um, yeah, besides, because that's the only thing that I literally leave the house with that's kind of big and can easily be taken away from me. It's my car. Like, I literally need to take care of myself and my car. So, yeah, you just need to, like, look after yourself and just... Just always be on the lookout. Just be that person that's always lurking, you know, like if you're walk, walking in like weird places, just always look, look over the shoulder, you know, this whole country and it's gender based violence and all of that. Okay, let's talk about managing finances. So I think I did speak about this a bit. Wait, because I think I'm almost done with my makeup. I just want to put on some blush. So I could blush. I love a woman with blush. If a, a fair skin or a melanin skin lady with blush. I love me some blush. Yo, even my boy, like I think even my boyfriend can see how much I wear blush. Like when I put it on, I put it on. Like I don't play with blush. But maybe today I won't play. Like I'm gonna just not put it on because the contour is just insane honey I bought this blush it's actually an eyeshadow palette but it doesn't have that much of pigment but I got I got this go China Mall but it works better as a like I got this years ago it just works better as a blush because it doesn't have that much pigment for an eyeshadow for it to be an eyeshadow but for it to be a blush honey mm. I want to talk about managing expenses quickly after um, kind of uh, putting on my eyelashes and all of that. Or maybe I can get into it right now. So, 
oh look at that i love me a woman with blush like i won't lie why i didn't control my nose because i was just so traumatized with the fact that i kind of <laughs> put too much contour so with finances guys nah i won't even say save because i realized if you're saving without a goal then what's the point of saving you know if you don't have an end goal like this is what i'm saving for then like girl what's the point you know so save with a purpose but let me just put on mascara i'm getting a bit confused that's why i'm just becoming this person but guys manage your finances like because i am a person that still gets an allowance uh i'm using the revlon big bad lash mascara i still get an allowance so i an allowance has taught me how to manage my finances because that's kind of wait i'll tell you guys something after this but that's kind of what i've been relying on thus far and you know i only get it at a certain it's a like a salary i only get it at a, at a certain amount of time well at a certain period or whatever like your payday as some people would call it um so it's kind of important that you know and budgeting so the first month if you're literally gonna leave home i'm gonna tell you now the first month you probably gonna spend everything that you have because you have to buy everything and you're not gonna be prepared so just don't give up on that like don't give up then you know then maybe the second month you kind of develop a budget on groceries and a budget on every single thing and that's just going to help you girl it's just going to help you so just budget your life away maybe second from the second month to like like second third month onwards just budget your life away because it's gonna help you you know i'm going in with the luxiva um lash adhesive and eyeliner to literally put on my lashes and look like a queen i'm gonna do that off camera okay hey boobas so i don't know why i called you guys that i kind of uh went and did everything else off camera uh, i just want to fix my hair i just said my face in the meantime i'm using revlon so for my lips i just want to talk about my lip combo but off camera i went ahead and put on my eyelashes put on the look serum liner i put the blue line under my waterline and i put mascara and eyeliner and then for my lips i created this whole combo because i don't have the, this kind of lipstick so i used a black liner for the lip liner i used my mm -mm. and then after that what did i use Oh, after that, I went in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal to kind of in the center to kind of bring that nudeness to the lip. Then after that, I wasn't impressed, so I added my Mac Riveting Rose. It's like brown, brown lipstick, just a tiny bit, like around it, just not too much, not too much to hide the black liner. Then I went with. The fave of mine, my the gloss, the lip, the Revlon lip gloss. This is a fave. Please get it. Please get it. If you can get it, please get it. You will thank me later. I think I don't want to speak a lot because I still have more things to kind of share with you guys. But we'll talk about it in the next Sunday videos. I actually uh, wanted to sort of dedicate my Sundays to vlogs and makeup tutorials. Just let me know what you guys think. Uh, or maybe I'll just see how I'll do it. Maybe I'll do both. I'll see what I feel like doing um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please honey, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up um, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please. Let's just get to 2k. Let's get to 2k honey Let's get to 2k and then um, Head over to my Instagram. Let's grow the family there too and yeah guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye